So brand new Spider-Man PlayStation 4 footage just dropped from E3 2018. A brand new trailer. We got a ton of new villains. If you guys are a Spider-Man fan and you guys are looking forward to this game, you guys definitely need to hear this news. How's it going, Webheads? My name is Ryan Walsh and welcome to Webhead where I help you guys keep up to date with all of the latest in video games and movies in today's world but really let's get into this trailer it looks amazing that's the first thing i want to say this trailer was amazing completely blew away all my expectations i personally was just looking for some more web swinging i thought that's what we we're going to be getting i thought we we're going to be getting some simple combat things but they blew out my expectations right out of the water because we got so many villains within this trailer we got the scorpion we got rhino we got electro we got mr negative and then we have the vulture we have all all of those villains really in one scene taking on Spider-Man of course he first sees Electro in there at the raft prison it looks fantastic I love how they're putting some Marvel prisons within this movie and I do like how they're gonna be having a ton of villains in this because of course just like Batman over in the DC Universe Spider-Man of the Marvel Universe has the biggest villains rogues gallery so of course we're gonna want to see a ton of villains within this game and Insomniac definitely knows that and that's why they put all of these different villains within this game and it's just awesome and I love seeing the Raft prison especially because that's a huge famous prison that actually was in the Marvel Cinematic Universe that actually was the prison in the middle of the ocean except in this new Spider-Man video game universe it's actually going to be right outside in New York it looks like where usually it is in the comic books so I personally am pretty happy to see that and I just like how they have all these villains within there of course I personally would have liked to see some maybe other like villains from other superheroes that would have been cool but what I got was enough. I did not expect this at all. I didn't even think we we're going to be getting this many villains within the game, to be completely honest with you. I thought we we're going to be probably getting like three or four villains, but already on screen there were five, and that's not even including the Shocker that was already shown, and I'm pretty sure Norman Osborn and the Kingpin were already shown as well. So we're getting a ton of villains within this game, and I personally think this is really just going to be about... Uh, actually getting probably side quest missions. I think that's going to be a huge part of this entire game as well. I hope that's actually a big part of this game. That's something that I personally really want to see. Kind of like the Batman Arkham games, how they really handled those video games where they had all these side quests for all these different villains. Of course, the entire story, you pop through all these different villains stories, but in reality, it was only about one villain. And then you, of course, you had all the villains really reappear within the side missions. So I hope we're actually going to be getting something like that. That person would make me really happy. But I love the costumes of all these characters that they put in this game. I, I really like the, the Vulture, Scorpion, Rhino, how they all looked. Everybody looked really good. Electro usually has a really dumb costume within the comic books. I personally am a huge fan of the lightning bolt mask, but they made him really cool without making him all blue like they did in The Amazing Spider-Man 2. They made him just human with lightning power. So I personally am really happy that they actually didn't just make him all blue like they always do. And I really liked how everybody had a really colorful costume. They actually had really cool costumes, kind of like upgrades to what they usually have. So I personally thought it was really cool. And I like how they didn't copy the vulture from the Spider-Man Homecoming movie. They did a completely different take on it. It made it really colorful, really green. I like how that popped out. It just looked fantastic. And I just love actually the combat of this entire thing in itself. I thought the combat was really well done. And I thought that like, you know, Spider-Man is, it's just so fluent. It's so Spider-Man because when he's like swinging and he's following Electro outside of the rap prison, he's just so fluent in doing that, chasing him. So personally for me as a Spider-Man fan, I really like seeing all that stuff. And I think they did a fantastic job showing that. And I think this is gonna be probably one of the best video games to play of this year just because of how fluent the actual like fighting and just web swinging around New York City is going to be within the game but of course I personally thought that we were going to get one more villain when I actually saw all five teaming up on Spider-Man I thought we were going to be getting at least one more so with those, like their little mini sinister six and said we only had five villains but I'm okay with that it was pretty sweet just to see all of them team up on Spider-Man and I personally actually thought that the Rhino was a little weird in this where they actually had him sound just like 
the Amazing Spider-Man 2 version of the Rhino. He basically was just like, I'll crush the spider. He was just that weird Russian uh, guy that basically was just in the suit and they had him just being really weird So I think they're doing exactly what they can do with the character But I just love how everybody looks in this the game looks fantastic, and I love this footage It was hands down the best thing in e3 I know I haven't done a lot of coverage on e3 at all But honestly just e3 wasn't that big of a deal in my opinion this year I didn't think there was a lot of stuff that I got really excited about other than probably like this in Kingdom Hearts This was really all I was excited about throughout the entire convention but of course I will be having a video on Kingdom Hearts tomorrow and some Star Wars stuff that actually came out a couple days ago but of course webheads if you want more on all of the latest in video games and movies definitely consider subscribing right over to webhead definitely check out this spider-man playlist that I put together for you guys just so you guys can watch a bunch of spider-man videos that I have of course thank you all very much for watching I really do appreciate it bye bye